Beaver, can you eat it? Welcome back to Backwoods, boys, everyone. Uh, today's a special episode. We're going to be playing a game of... Can I not hit my fingers? Not actually. <laughs> we got the beaver that we got last night. It's been so soaking in salt water all night. Uh, we're going to clean it up. We're going to throw it on the barbecue here and see how barbecued beaver is. Everyone knows trappers and beaver tail and everything. It's a traditional meal sort of thing. But uh, normally this is cooked in an oven or in a roaster on a stove top. Just slow cooked until it's nice and tender. And I, I love it that way. I've never tried it barbecued before, but we're going to give this a shot. So what we've got right now are the uh, the back legs. And we did not clean them before soaking them last night. So I just have to kind of trim all of this junk off. You're going to want to make sure you clean all of that off, or at least as much as you can get. That's so it's nice pink meat underneath. Barbecue's heating up right now. Uh, I wish I had a ideal temperature to tell you but again I've never done this before so I'm gonna say make sure your barbecue is on and go from there now soaking in salt water has, serves a couple of purposes one it removes a bunch of the gamey flavor that a lot of people complain about with wild meat um, and it also draws out any worms if there were any worms uh, beaver I do not believe are all that subject to worms at least in the meat um, you can get other things like tularemia or beaver fever from them, but that's not from eating them generally. So this is more so just to remove sort of the blood and the gamey flavor. They're also, like I said, a very fatty animal. So we're going to have to take some precautions when we put them on the barbecue that, so we don't just set the whole thing on fire. Now you can see this beaver meat is really nice pink meat. It actually looks a lot like rough grouse if you have ever eaten rough grouse. So this is the last drumstick here, because obviously beavers only have two drumsticks on the back, unless you get a mutant beaver, in which case I wouldn't recommend eating it. We've got a little piece of back strap. Uh, some, the bigger beavers obviously have bigger back straps, and it can be really good. I cooked up a batch when I was moose hunting in the fall. Uh, beaver back strap, peppers, um, potatoes, onions, a bit of garlic, and some teriyaki sauce. That was really good. It, the beaver actually ended up more so just taking on the flavor of what it was cooked with. It didn't have a lot of flavor itself. This one we're doing a bit different. Uh, and also it was a younger beaver, so there was not very much uh, back strap to go around. So I took off a little strip and then figured we'd focus on what's going to be obviously the better meat uh, and more of it just with the uh, legs here couple nice chunks of meat and then we got a big chunk of beaver tail just got to trim off a little bit around here where it's a little dirty you can see it is primarily fat and sinew and bone I've never actually eaten beaver tail but we've heard lots about it so we're gonna give it a try now this one we're definitely gonna cook in tin foil on the barbecue because we don't want all that fat just dripping down into the new barbecue um, we may be backwards boys, but we're afraid of mom and she might kill us. Now we're going to just set this to the side and commence with cooking. First, you want to make sure you get that nice, even cut like that. That's an important part of cooking the beaver properly. And we'll start with the beaver meat, obviously. We're going to start with the beaver tail. Beaver tail. I feel like, sorry, I'm kneeling down to fit into the camera shot. It's really uncomfortable on the knees. I'm going to start with some hickory barbecue sauce. See how that goes. We're going to do a little seasoning salt because that's good with everything. That's a lot of seasoning salt. We're at least a couple years off from heart attack risk, I think, so we can use a bit of salt. We're going to try smoky apple orchard dust. Actually, it smells good. We'll see. And Italianos, because mom says she cooks everything with this. Hopefully not everything. That'd go horrible with cookies. Then we're just going to fold this up. And try and crimp it. That's so 
it's not leaking as it cooks. Now we're going to grab this. Again, take off a nice big chunk. Unfortunately, this one came off way too even. This is going to be the bad one. Leg. Ton of barbecue sauce. Um, a little, little bit of this. Gonna try a little garlic on this one. And a dose of Italiano. And then just like the last one, we're gonna wrap this up uh, nice and tight that's so it's not dripping fat as it cooks and also to keep the fat in nicely contained and uh, keep the keep it nice and juicy as it cooks These are on, we got it sitting on about medium heat. We're just gonna let this cook for a few minutes, keep an eye on it, and we'll let you know when it's done. really good so far. Look at that peeling off of the bone. I think it might be getting close to done, but and the tail. I'm worried the tail might just burn because it's actually really thin other than that layer of fat. And I see the fat is coming off with the tin foil. So that is interesting. Well, I would say that's done though. I'm gonna go grab a plate, bring them inside, and we'll see you in there. So we're gonna give a try with the leg first, I think. That's the safest one. Yeah, that looks good. That looks like, I mean, any old piece of meat that you cook. The tin foil was successful in keeping the juices in. Now, that bone goes right through here, so there's actually not very much other than bone right there. But through here, we got lots. It's tough, which probably has to do with the way it's cooked. If we were to slow cook it like I've done before in a roaster, it'll come out perfectly uh, tender, like fall off the pork kind of tender. So here we go. First bite of barbecued beaver with a bunch of random stuff in it. That is really good. Oh, that, that is really good meat actually. Wow. That is really good. That is, that's a good way to cook it. It is a little tough, but again, it was cooked on high, uh, mostly just so that we could get it done quick because I was hungry and I wanted to try it. Um, but you cook it slower or even better in a roaster with some potatoes and stuff, just slow through the afternoon. That's going to be some really good, tender, great tasting meat. Now we're going to give the tail a try. I've heard lots of people talk about eating beaver tail. I've never found it to look all that appetizing because it's mostly fat. Um, and honestly, that is all it is. It's just pure fat um, and then bone. 
I don't know what people eat, are eating when they eat the beaver tail. I guess for the sake of saying I've tried it, I'll try a piece of pure fat. Nope. Nope. The texture is... It actually tastes okay, but the texture is not... Nope. No, I'm not eating that. <laughs> so, <laughs> beaver, can you eat it? The meat is great. The tail, I know, unless I did something wrong or you need a bigger beaver with more meat on the tail or something. Um, but the meat is excellent. So can you eat it? Absolutely. Highly recommend it. Don't waste that. If you're not using the beaver meat for bait, use it for food. It's really good. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Backwoods Boys. We're going to have lots more of these Can I Eat This episodes with a variety of plants and animals out here. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed so you see when you're out in the bush next, what you can have a chance to eat if you forget your hot dogs and burgers at home. See you next time. Get out, do some apples. The rock to you. <laughs> the rock. <laughs>